Alrighty, welcome back to some more Farming Simulator shenanigans. This time, we're doing something a little bit different, playing in 1080p with 60 frames per second, checking out YouTube's new way of doing things. Hopefully, it'll be nice and smooth, because we can definitely record in that. And it should look very nice now, hopefully, for you guys, watching on whatever you are watching on. In the meantime, though, it's been a little while since we've played this, so let's have a look at what exactly is happening. This guy's finished cultivating the field. I'm pretty sure I wanted him to go over to another field, and boy, oh boy, is he dirty. Wow. <laughs> they definitely dirtied him up real good, especially on the top. What the hell were they doing? Now, I'm not quite sure if you guys remember, but there was a mod, or not a mod, but a glitch, that uh, caused all your vehicles to just randomly jerk up and fly around the world. That has been happening. Fortunately, not to me, though, but I do know that has happened to a couple of people. Um, Dirt Herbers on YouTube as well was uh, talking about it. Um, like, your yeah, units, or, well, not units, your yeah, implements, they just randomly fly up in the world and just start flying around like a cyclone was there somewhere. So, that's kind of strange, but I guess that's just part of the farming simulator game for now. Hopefully, I'll change that pretty soon, though. Patch it out. Um, I am going to be riding around on roads. I just need to learn exactly where the roads are, but once we've get got that down we'll start driving around on the roads and hopefully it'll be much more realistic for those guys that are into all of that um, although I'm obviously not the best type of driver around but I'll do what I can do at least I'll try my best I think I should have went down that way shouldn't I right, so let's go reverse a couple of other things that we've been doing over here we have well we've gotten back to how much money we had at the start of last episode because I did that money um, hack video or yeah that video so that was interesting to those guys that would want to get infinite money or just how much money you'd want so you're able to get whatever implements you want right at the start which I think is pretty cool and this is a sandbox game after all so you do want to play around a little bit with all the new toys now, where exactly are we going? We're going in, well, I guess the wrong direction, but there's no such thing as a wrong direction in a game like this because there's a lot of things to explore, lots of gold coins. I've heard that once you find 10 gold coins, you actually um, can see where the rest of them are on the map, which, I don't know, it kind of defeats the purpose of finding them all, but I guess it also makes it a lot quicker because I've actually never found all the collectibles. I've never really been all that bothered. Because I don't think the reward for it's all that good. It'd be interesting to see what happens this time, but I still don't think it'll be anything that good. All right, what is over here? Let's check out the map. That's one of the best things about this game, though, that they've improved. Such a small little thing, but it does quite a bit. They tell you where you are. So this is the freight yard. So there's no more of that guessing, fortunately. So I used to guess around quite a bit, and it was ridiculous. Oh, wow. Even the windows are muddy pretty cool. Do not expect to see that. It must happen really subtly. Like, I haven't really noticed anything. The mud doesn't get left on the road, though, but that's alright. Um, no, we don't want to go there. Let's just drive over these poles. Euro Truck Simulator. Oh, no, you're not Euro Truck Simulator. I was talking about this in the other video as well. Not Euro Truck, but American Truck Simulator is coming out very shortly, too. So I'm very keen for that. There's quite a few games coming out at the moment. Unfortunately, this year's been a really weird one with uh, me on the Let's Play scene. Oh, we've already done this field? What? Wait, this guy. Oh, all right. Okay, I saw what this guy's got to do. This guy's got to do this. He's got to keep on seeing the canola or the rape seeds. Okay. I like the uh, new particle effects, though. They look cool. They improved them last version as well, so they keep on doing those improvements. Like, there's a bit more detail in all of this stuff. Oh, wow, that actually does look pretty good, that dirt. Especially on the Pottinger sign. Do the mirrors get dirty? No, but the mirrors don't reflect. So they're just grey icons, really. All right, now, what's this guy doing? Do we have a mission? What's that doing with you? I was just driving around, I think. What I really need is a weight on the back. So, um, actually, yeah, let's go over here. Actually, no, let's not go over here. Let's check out the map because there is something that I wanted to do. The lumber yard. 
and supposedly next to the lumber yard there's some lake and you push trees into it and that way you can get pretty much uh, like you well a tree costs seven thousand dollars to plant and you put and you cut it down and then you get thirteen thousand dollars for selling it so you make pretty much a hundred percent profit almost so that sounds very interesting uh where exactly is the shop okay i see where it is it's roughly in the middle of the map slightly off center wait we want to go back to this guy what we'll do we'll drive to the shop we'll buy a weight at the back i think we might have one yet at the farm but we'll use that for another one of our tractors in the meantime we'll just keep on coming around over here so get a weight at the back so we won't go like drifting like crazy floating about almost <laughs> that's pretty funny though all right so I won't be doing any of that. We'll drive a little bit more seriously and it'll be much more prim and proper. Got that down wraps. Yeah, so there's quite a few games coming out. Unfortunately, I definitely did uh, fall off the bandwagon with uh, starting a lot of Let's Plays and not finishing the games, which is, I don't know, it hasn't really been like me, but I guess I just didn't have as much time as I ever used to. But... Uh, I will take into account like much more seriously my time considerations when I'm taking up new games but it's always so tempting to start up a new game especially with uh, the gaming season pretty much we're in the heat of it right now so many games coming out at the moment Borderlands came out that's been a very very fun game been playing that a bit by myself now, what exactly is this shop okay you know what, we might check out the missions first. We'll go right over here. So we've been moving a bit on the wrong way. Where is exactly is this sign? Oh, it's over here. Right, so. Now let's check out what's over here. It does look much better at 1080p though, this game. We'll admit that. All right, let's go open up the jobs board and they want us to cut down the south lawn. Yes, I will. Well, we're not going to accept that yet because what I need to do is get the weight over here. Or should we do that mission? No. Let's go back to driving around. Where exactly are we going? We should go on this um, dirt road. And that cuts across exactly where I want it to. Field 22 actually wouldn't be too bad to have. Very nice and long. Like something else. Ha ha ha. Alright. All right, there's our circus. The draw distance is much better in the game. You don't really have that ridiculous, like, circle of draw. Well, it's still sort of there, but it's not as ridiculous as it was in previous games, which is good. Got that dust picking up as well. All right, now, I think that we need to go left over here. Yes, that would be correct. So let's go back, zoom in. Slow down a bit. There's no blinkers, is there? No. I do remember in a couple of mods there were though. Those are really very well detailed mods. And we'll start doing mod videos as well very shortly. This is a game that I'll be doing for quite a while. Next three months I'd assume or so. So I definitely love my farming simulator. It's always like a good game just to build up and you feel very fulfilled I guess when you go far in the game. Alright, so now. Another thing that I should do is take out a massive loan, which I think the maximum from last version was 200,000. So, um, we don't need to... Actually, no, we did start off with the loan. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay. Um, we can pay it back, but I won't. What we'll do, I, th I think, is I'll just borrow the money. Borrow, like, a lot more money. See what the max is. It should be 200,000, if I remember correctly. Yep. Bank grants you a maximum loan of 200000 There's only one bank. Anyway, all right. So, I have to have a look at what vehicles we get. Um, but now, now that we are pretty much over here, we can um, open up the shop. And we want... It'd be mis... No, it'd be in weights. Okay. Non-miscellaneous. All right. Let's check this out. Um, don't really want anything too heavy. So, we'll go with the 1,000 kilo one. Geez, 1,600 kilos. That's crazy for something like that. All right. What's the difference between a wheel loader and a telehandler? 
interesting. I guess this has got like a telescopic loader. Bail handler. Oh, okay. That seems like it's a new implement that we're able to use. And let's head back over here and a wheel loader. Uh, okay, so it's basically like a bulldozer. Almost. Almost like a bulldozer. All right. Um, so we've got chainsaws. Let's check out the miscellaneous. Yeah, we don't want this. Now, placeables. So many of you guys were going off at me because what we want is in the placeable section. Right over here. Wash With this machine, you can clean dirty vehicles and tools. So that's pretty cheap. Um, oh, wow. Okay, this is cool. Uh, we're able to place this wherever we want. Question is exactly... Um, I don't know the map well enough to go straight to our farm. Although, I'm pretty sure it's like off to the right. Okay, no, that's a garden factory. Okay. You can't zoom out over here, can you? No. Alright. So, it's somewhere down... I can't click, can I? No. Let's check out, I think, because it was up top, wasn't it? Here we go. Here we go. All right. Let's place that over here, I think. Will be a good spot. Um, I just need to zoom all the way back in. Jeez, that is tiny as well. Very small. Okay. So we'll buy that. Oh, I just bought two. YOLO. Um, we can't sell it now, can we? <laughs> All right. Let's go escape out of there. All right. What else can we get? So we can get a bee house to make $60 an hour. All right. Oh, that wind generator. How much does that make? $4,000 an hour. Okay. So I can just leave the game running for quite a while. Um, oh, so here, here is what I was talking about. You can place a tree. Um, the fir trees are the best because... Or maybe poplars, but I read that the fir trees are some of the best because they're nice and straight and they pay the most. So, um, you plant that and then you go ahead and cut it and then you can um, push it into the river and then you make a heck of a lot of money. So, I'll have to go test that out. That's what we'll do. In the meantime though, let's make sure all our other guys are working. Now, over here, I don't remember what we did over here. I think we've already sown this, haven't we? I mean, let's have a look. What's this guy doing? This guy's just chilling like a villain. No, I guess we haven't. Now, this cultivates as well. So, not only does it sow, but it cultivates first, and then it sows the seeds. So, that's pretty good. You can kill a couple of birds with that. So, this has already been done, this field. Are we own the other field, so let's go to... Um, do we want this guy to drive all the way? No. We'll let him do his thing. Alright, so, where's this other field? Over here. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I think, is I'll get a plow, and we'll join these fields up together, I think. That's probably a good idea. Make it a much, much larger field, so. I'll just back this guy off. Let's see. Let's move him over to the side. Don't want him on the road. Now, this guy... Oh, I guess we can fertilize this if we want. But we won't. So, let's hurry up and go the, put the weight on. Get this guy back doing some missions. Especially because we won't be drifting. Whoa, that screen tearing is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, what is that? It's like a... I don't know what that is. All right. Oh, we went around the wrong way, which is all right with me. Alright, now. Just gotta make sure we go nice and slow, not too fast. So don't we go we don't go top heavy. There we go. All of that. And now we're moving around perfectly. Just the way we should be. That's very, very nice. So let's go back on the road. And let's go this way. Back the way we came from. Interesting entry points onto the fields. Grass rail only just cuts off. Now I'm almost going full speed as well. 43 kilometers an hour. Alright, we'll go check out the lumber yard and we'll check out how that works. Because we've already got the chainsaw. Someone did ask how you equip the chainsaw. It's pretty easy. You just press one, number one, two, or three on the keyboard. Depending how many chainsaws you've got. 
Um, should I? It doesn't really matter where I turn, actually. Just go up this way. Which will lead us to the lumber yard. Wouldn't mind checking the car out as well that you can buy from the shop, but it doesn't seem like it's that special. Like, it's just a car, really. <laughs> Which, I mean, you've got tractors in the game, so you might as well use them to drive around, right? A lot of these fields already, um, like, have crops on them. You just need to, well, dead crops. The bits are left over. And there's a lot of these houses. Oh, all right. And we are in Bjornholm. There is a second map called Westbridge Hills, which was in the Titanium DLC or in the console versions of Farming Simulator 2013. Although, this time it's been drastically changed around quite a bit. It's actually pretty cool to have had a look at it. We might have a look at it um, as well. I'm not sh quite sure if we'll do another Let's Play like at the same time running in conjunction with this, but it's pretty interesting to have a look at how different it really is. Now we'll be able to take a couple of missions from here, I guess, as well. Because um, there is a jobs board. Let's go all the way down over there. That seems really cool, whatever that is. Uh, the job is boiled. Let's check out what that is. Canola for transport, no slice, corn for shipping, and black and white. Okay. Nothing that really entices me, anyway. Right now, question is, how do we get over there? Oh, okay, I see that dirt road. Let's just cut this corner. Some lumber yard house, lumberer's house. Okay, now I'm assuming they'll give us tips over here as well. Be interesting to see how we actually get this done. Alright, whoa. What is that sound? Ah, oh, it's a chainsaw somewhere in the sawmill. Alright, so we drop off logs over here, I think, as well. Let's check it out. Alright, oh, and you can make the train go, I think, actually, if I remember correctly. Let's watch this. Oh, shit. Oh. You can say... Oh, wow. That's really cool. Okay. So, that's where you put the trees. And the trees magically, I guess, get on the um, train. I can imagine doing some funny things over here. Like, blocking the train's path and all that. I can imagine that being very fun. All right, but now that we've got that done... Had a look at that. Got our cheap laughs. Let's reverse back. And have a look at this river that people were talking about. If there is a river anyway. What's this? Okay. Trains can't go there. This is where the sound's coming from. Well, they are cutting the trees. Any way to get up there? I wonder. Don't think so. I can see. Here's someone hammering away. There's some bloody ghosts in here. Talking of ghosts, it was Halloween just the other day, so. Who knows what the hell is going on? Oi! Right, let's go change the tool. Oh. And re equip that. And try to make it out of here alive. Maybe if I lower it. There we go. Wasn't that hard now, was it? Uh, we've got to lift it back up, don't we? It's already lifted, though. No! Alright, let's get out of here. We'll go ahead and uh, spawn them back. But, I'm very tempted to just check this out. Like, place a tree somewhere here and push it in to the river. Because, I mean... They don't really explain it that well to us. That well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What happened? Whoa. <laughs> nice. Oh, hello. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, so, uh, what I want to do is let's just test this theory out. If it is correct. I'm not quite sure if I'll do it correctly, but uh, where are the placeables? Down here somewhere. There we go placeables and let's go trees don't really cost that much and the potential profit is quite a bit so we'll go with the fir tree 
What are you talking about? Cannot be placed here. Lies. Lies. Oh. Oh, here we go. I guess it needs to be a certain distance away so you don't, like, cheat the system. Which I guess is fair enough. That would make sense then. I'm not quite sure what other people are doing. We should figure it out, though. But supposedly other people were, like, placing trees right over here. And then they were pushing the trees in over here and getting money for it. So, interesting, interesting. Because you can't really push it, like, it's quite a distance to push them. Very, very interesting. Okay, I can also zoom well outside the map. Check out the water. Check out the edge of the map. Remember with the flying one, that was pretty cool. Alright, so let's get out of here. Let's definitely get out of here. Check out what these other guys are doing. So, this guy is Finito. So, I'll get him to go ahead and go back to our other fields. What are these silos for? They're just there for looks, really. Let's go this way. Alright, so we're going down the grain elevator way. I guess you can go to the telephone and they'll give you tips on the cutting and all. Don't think the tips there are too good, but... Definitely don't want to hire a worker. You want to press the horn. Which is zero, not H. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, we can drive like a madman just like that. And get stuck. <laughs> oh, God. Ah, oh, this is going great. We've got two of our vehicles stuck. So that means only one thing. Um, wait, it's not over here, is it? It's... We need to go. PDA is here. Uh, so this time we do this in the PDA, which is completely different. Um... Yes, so, resets, vehicle and tool. Yes, yes. Oh, okay, I thought we could do both in one go. Obviously not. Reset all of that. Okay, that's all that done. And then this guy, what's this? Oh, no, we don't want that. Don't want to reset that one. What I want to do, though. So, it's still, they still realize that the physics is a bit of a problem. Like, it's really easy to get stuck in a really, really awkward position. I guess the way that I got stuck was just noobness all around, but um, let's reset that one as well. And, oh, we got a wet over here as well. Okay, that should be it. That is it, it seems like anyway. So I have to do the good old switcheroo then, I think. Um, we'll get this guy. He needs a wait up front, doesn't he? I would say so. Does he? Yeah, definitely. Otherwise, his handling is going to be very, very poor. He's very muddy. So, actually, now that we're right here, it's actually worked out quite well for us. I will start storing the vehicles properly away as well, because I know how much you guys love that. So, we can't let you down. Right. Now we're good. And cleaning... Things are right over here. Here we go. If we play multiplayer or something, we'll be able to get someone else to clean with us. In tandem. Alright, so. Are we doing it right? Is it getting clean? Yeah, I think so. Yes, it is decreasing. Ever so slowly. Still very dirty. Jeez. Um, what does X do? Activate hand tool. Alright. Oh, it's exactly the same as clicking it. There really is nothing to it. So we cleaned the vehicle, now we need to clean the other parts to it. So we can get the advertisement going. Pottinger. Clearly this video was sponsored by them. No, it very obviously wasn't, but let's also clean the weight. That's pretty cool how it cleans though. I wish you could, like, draw things, um, through the dirt. That'd be nice. Like little kids draw penises in, um, dirty vehicles and all. Alright, let's go back in this car. The hose magically connected back up. Alright, I'll take that. And now we'll have to start sewing over here. We might as well go with more canola anyway, like... Yeah. That's what we'll do. Now, I did listen to you guys, and you guys did want forestry, so 
there will be a lot more forestry. Now, this field is already done, isn't it? It is well and truly done. We'll just get all of them to go at the same time, I think. Yeah, this field's definitely done. It's fertilized and everything. All right, um, what do you, what are you doing, mate? Yes. Yeah, canola. Just had to make sure he's doing the right thing. Uh, so we might as well fertilize that now, right? Hurry up. So now you actually need to wait till the sprayer unfolds. Because you used to be able to turn it on a little bit earlier. Here we go. It actually worked out quite well for us. Can't complain. So what fertilizing does is it gives us a much higher yield. What is that snow saying? What's that floating around? It's got like a lot darker as well. Or maybe that's just me. I need to check the weather. Hopefully it does rain a little bit more in this game. Because it never used to rain at all. In the game. Like you pretty much had to script it yourself to rain. Which was a bit meh. Unfortunately, we're going to have to go make another round turn, unfortunately. But yeah, so there's uh, Westbridge Hills. That's what I was talking about. There's Westbridge Hills and obviously Bjornholm, which I thought was a German town, but it is, actually comes out that it's in Sweden. Funnily enough, there was there's a place in Denmark called Bornholm. Very similar without the J, except... Um, yeah, it was actually in the news the other day because Russia was war gaming, attacking Bornholm, the Danish island. It sounded very interesting. Actually, war gaming with a lot of uh, planes as well. So, Russia's definitely been very aggressive lately. That's for certain, and that's probably something that I should start talking a little bit more about. I love my geopolitical videos and my topical videos. I don't just muck about in farming sim just to play around with it. I do like to blurt on a fair bit. Alright, so now that's that's all done. We've pretty much done everything that we really need to do. Maybe no, this is not going to be a maybe. What I'm going to do is press 9 and check out these fields. I think what we'll get maybe field 30 and 25? What do you guys say? I mean, I know you guys want forestry. Um, what we can do is check out forestry equipment and this machinery cuts tree stumps. Doesn't really bother me, that stuff. The vehicle can transport logs. Problem is, I need to find logs, a way to put the logs on. This piece of machinery plants new trees into the ground. Okay. And this vehicle can transport tree logs. This is something that we need. Okay. And then this machine breaks trunks into wood chips. Now, I'm not sure if you can make the wood chips into biofuel or something like that. Um, this vehicle can transport tree logs. And that's the Scorpion King, of course. So, I think what we'll start off with is with this one. Because it seems like it's got an arm to it. Unless I'm, like, blind or something. It's definitely got an arm. So, let's go buy this. And that way, we'll be able to start off with a chainsaw. There we go. Oh, Hello. This is much better than I had expected. Holy moly. That is cool stuff. All right. Okay. Wow. All right. <laughs> I'll take that. Um, so now that we've got that, let's just check out fields 25 and 30. Thankfully, going over fields that have already been sown and all and fertilized doesn't really matter all that much. That is a very, very cool thing, though. That vehicle. over there with those fences anything special not really it's just like a random house but yeah beyond homes in Sweden and it seems like it's very similar to um, what this game's like anyway because it's got like you got your rivers around there and you've got like a it's a farmland like there's it's a small town and a very small town with a couple of towns about as well very 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 similar to what this is all right so you know what? Let's go buy this. Yep. 
and then what we'll do for the next couple of episodes, the storyline will be Arsenal Robert will plow the fields 24, 25, 29, and 30 together. And then we shall grow some uber crops around here on this uber field. We're making much more of that cash, cash money. Um, let's go purchase fields. Oh, shenanigans. Really, we cannot afford to buy this field. Literally, if there hasn't, well, $900 short, which is quite the travesty. All right. So, what does that mean we have to do? That means... Oh. Because this guy... What oh, do you see that? Oh. That thing, like, magically jumped in the um, cedar. Anyways. Um, so, this cultivates at the same time. So, there's no real need for the actual cultivator that I've got. Which is a bit of a shame. So, what we'll do now instead is... We'll drive back home. Yes, that's what we'll do. We'll drive... No, actually, no. We won't drive... Yeah, yeah sorry. Fucking drive straight. We'll drive back home. Does this guy have a weight on the front? Yeah, he does. So, we'll drive back home, which is right over here to the left. We'll drop the cultivator off. We won't bother cleaning, because it doesn't really matter all that much. Like, your vehicles don't break down randomly or anything. Pretty cool to see all our hard work there, though. There's a big field, field 30. No wonder it costs a fair bit. And then we'll go tree cutting then, shall we? We'll have a closer look at how that works out for us. Yeah, I really should start playing this game multiplayer. Maybe I'll start streaming it a bit. Because I have, I have not streamed for a long, long time. I used to live stream this game called Clash of Clans a lot. I used to love it so much, but I stopped live streaming it. I don't really have a reason for stopping live streaming. It's just that it takes up a lot of time. It's very time inefficient, I guess. All right, so we've done that. Now we need to go to the shop, which is to the left. Follow this road and then cut across. And then we'll be good over there. On our way. What's that over there? There's just like a pile of rocks or something. Alright. Good stuff. Um, also, actually what I should do. Check out the options. Mission frequencies every two minutes. Plant growth is... We'll make it for... We'll make it normal for now. Until this crop's all done. I think. Right? Or maybe we should... Uh, let's do it. You know what? That's actually really good. Should I leave plant withering off? I think that's what I should do. Um, cause it's no fun when plants withers, plants wither. All right, let's go do that. Plant growth is fast. There we go. And then, actually, I think last Let's Play I also had plant growth is fast. Cause there's really no difference. It's just like, I mean, you can make the plant growth fast as well if you just speed time up. At the moment, we're just playing one time speed though, so nothing too crazy. I feel like the UI difference though. It looks very fresh, very polished. All right, I'm very much looking forward to how this vehicle, or this implement, whatever you want to call it, will work. We might as well go to the lumber yard right now, or like drive near there. Because I'm assuming there's going to be trees right around the lumber yard that are going to be perfect for us. That's the hope anyway. Equip ourselves over here. Here we go. Oh. Should be smooth sailing then, Shet. I'd say, anyways. Go over here and we'll go on this long field 22. Actually, you know what? Uh, just out of curiosity, I do want to see how much field 22s are going to cost. So, excuse me while I drive over the fields. I think I might have already had a look at it, but you guys know me and my short-term memory loss. I never remember anything. 
even if I just did it. So <laughs> let's get out of here. Um, check this field out. 157,000. That's not too bad. Definitely not bad at all, actually. Uh, back on the road we go. We'll zoom all the way out. I actually do like this zoomed out view. Game runs so smoothly on this computer. It's a thing of beauty, really. We'll be recording now at 1080p, 60 frames a second, and rendering it at that. Upload speeds might take a little... Well, upload times might be a little bit longer, but the things I do for you guys, the things I do. It'll be interesting to see how it comes out and if you guys actually do like it a lot more. Because personally, I watch all my videos in 720p... Well, actually 480p, really. Not even 720p, but... Well, sometimes I do watch them in 720p. It's just that straight into the internet. It's been a recurring topic in all my videos. It's been rather lackluster, really. Especially upload speeds. The government that came in a year ago said that everyone's going to have, I think, minimum 20 megabytes a second download speed in three years' time. Now there's only two years of that left and I have not heard a single word about it, unfortunately. So personally I don't really care about download speeds either. Like download speeds to me are reasonable. It's just the upload that gets you in Australia. It's ridiculous. Alright now would you call this tree straight? I mean I would. I mean I'm not quite sure how straight they're talking, right? But if you ask me, that is perfectly straight apart from the branches, obviously. So, let's go do this, shall we? Um, okay. Now, there is a skill to it, no doubt. I think you need to go... Okay. Let's just do that first. I'm probably doing it wrong, because maybe you need to do the diagonal cut first. It's the most likely option. What if I push it now? Push, push. Yes. Oh, no. All right, I almost had success. What if I keep on doing that? That should work. Yay. New physics engine and all, my friends. How exciting. All right. Um. Uh, I just realized this tree's a little bit too large, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, let's just maneuver this. Oh god, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be very, very interesting. Uh, what other tree cutting machinery do we have available to us? Um, so this breaks trunks into wood chips, right? And this machine cuts down trees. I'm pretty sure it also gets rid of the branches. So I think I just need to find the smaller trees, unfortunately. Didn't really think about that one there, did I? Okay. So X to fold out the feet. Okay. So now we're well and truly supported. Okay. Press the mouse button. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. We can extend it like so ah oh, there we go We're having a bit of luck here okay it's gonna be hard to get the camera working the way we want it to but oh, oh, oh shit all right extend it just a bit bring it down bring it in bring it down all right now how do we close it Um, oh, here we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, we close it the same way we would open it, right? I don't want to twist, I want to move it. Oh, right, up and down, right, right. I see. <laughs> yeah, this tree's obviously very much too large. Wow. Yeah, this is just crazy. <laughs> I 
I wonder what would happen if I started driving. Does he still have the feet out? He still does. Alright, so what we'll do... <laughs> oh, God. Alright, um, fold up the feet. Scan this one. Do we have enough horsepower to carry this tree? No. Very clearly not. Alright, um, what we'll have to do though is look for some much, much smaller trees. Like, uh, what type of tree are you going to be able to carry with this though? That is a great question. I mean, they can't be very large, can they? Let's just go try it with one of these ones then, I guess. Here we go, this is what we want. Or it can automatically slide down, it's cool. I'll just cut it across if I can. Alright, so that was a great success. Let's just hope that this is this pickup is gonna be just as successful though. And that we don't get stuck, because that seems like it's going to be very likely. Alright, get out of here. Get into here. Fold those legs out. Okay. Open that up. Oh, you know what? We might have some luck. No, that has not correctly grabbed onto it, has it? No. Because there's a branch there in the way, isn't it? God damn. It's so much like that Dig It game. It's so confusing with the controls. You've got to get used to it once. And once you get used to it once, you're good. You're set. Let's extend that just a little bit. Lift it up a little bit. Oh. There we go. Oh, wrong way. Oh, no. You need to make it lower. Alright, now here's hoping this will work because I'm pretty sure it won't. Oh. You know what? <laughs> God. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? Alright, let's go see how this will work. I don't think it is going to work. No. No, very obviously not. I think the real proper way of doing this is going to be with the machine that costs like three hundred thousand dollars because everything else seems like it's going to be a bit of a waste i mean what i could get away with maybe is pushing the tree and that's not going to work is it no definitely not all right so um in the meantime let's check out what else is happening this guy has finished his work so that's good to see this guy he's just waiting about really all right um, has that massive field that we did, is that fertilized? I'm not quite sure. Right, this is the wrong type of vehicle that I want to be in here. Alright, we should be able to reverse out of here. Oh man, alright. Well, that's going to conclude this episode. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. It's going to be one long one. This is going to take so long to upload, but it'll be fun nonetheless, I think. It's uh, been an experience, to say the least. I'll uh, go ahead and do some extra side missions so we've got a bit more money to muck around with. Until next time, guys, make sure you keep liking the videos. I'm very much appreciating all the love and support that I've been getting so far. And we'll be back with episode number five very, very shortly.